Good morning, traders. It's Tuesday, June 21st, 2011. Des here. And we have the index features up. Half a percent on the S&P. Dow up about the same, about the same here on the NASDAQ. Getting a nice little gap up this morning. You can see the gap here on the 60-minute spider chart that we're looking at. But if I pull in a lot more data, you can see this falling wedge. This nice falling wedge which are bullish and we did not hit the support area and then we rallied up broke through and now we're making a pretty nice run at this moment and with this run that we're making we were finding ourselves right here at the 200 intraday moving average so this is the the, the 200 hour moving average coming down that's serving as resistance at this moment however um, we are in a bull move at this point and let me show you something on Apple I'm gonna go to a daily and Apple is in a symmetrical triangle it broke down tried to test what was acting as support is resistance we broke down below the 200 day moving average we come down 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 then we have a gap do you see this this gap down and then we made a hammer well this gap down gives us what's called a open window the open window means this wick or shadow does not intersect with this shadow, so there's an open window. Now, if today we gap up in Apple also, and we never do close this gap with a shadow, but we gap up and keep an open window like we had here, so we get two open windows, uh, this will be a very powerful reversal pattern. It's called an abandoned baby reversal pattern. They're rare but they are powerful and the chances of us staying above this level for a, you know, a certain amount of time is pretty good so that's something to be watching out for now back on the spider formate uh, the spider chart here still going back to the 60 now I'm going to give you some resistance areas as a reminder um, I didn't tweak too much on this, so most of these numbers are going to be going to be the same. So here you go. And that should keep us busy on resistance. And when it comes to support, you want to mark these down. And there you have it. Take care and safe trading today.